And I'm sure anyone listening here, either it's something that's going on right now in your business, or you can think of a recent example of a time when that little impulse came to you, said, maybe I ought to sign up for that training, or like, maybe I should look into that retreat, or maybe I should buy this book, or maybe I should connect with that therapist in town. And you didn't do it. And you had a good reason in your mind. Oh, well, you know, it's too expensive, or I don't have the time to devote to that. Or, you know, they, they're probably too busy for me. And every time you have talked yourself out of one of those impulses, I think of it as, um, or someone has, has talked to me about it as like following a ping. When you get that ping, it's almost like this tiny little voice that just really quickly is like, Hey, maybe you should try this thing. Do this, do that, reach out to that person. But when you don't follow it, you're just depriving yourself of an opportunity that you could have grown. You could have evolved and you're potentially depriving someone else of that connection too. So this isn't just about you. But yeah. So I'm following a ping or impulse momentum, imperfect action, whatever you want to call it. It's all just about like paying attention to that, that inner dialogue and recognizing that there is a voice in there somewhere that's suggesting you try something new. And when you talk yourself out of it, you're leaving a lot on the table. <laughs>